Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today we're going to be checking out the unique weapon, the Dismemberer, in the Fallout 3 DLC, Point Lookout. Now you're going to want to head down to the Coastal Grotto. Once you get inside, you will meet a businessman named Plick, who will let you into his safari for a nominal fee. Once you pay him, the quest Plick's safari will start, and you will head inside to kill a buttload of ghouls, and I mean a buttload of ghouls, so come prepared with lots of weapons, lots of ammo, and lots of skin packs. Now, once you finish this, go back out and talk to Plick, and he will reward you with the Dismemberer. Now, the Dismemberer is actually an awesome weapon because it has a unique effect. It will allow you to give enemies without the bloody mess perk. Hitting them will cause, or well, hitting them and killing them will cause an 80% chance for them to just explode into a bunch of gibs, and it will actually restore five action points whenever you give an enemy this way, which is a pretty cool, unique effect. Uh, it's interesting, but if you don't have the bloody mess perk, you're probably doing it wrong. Anyways, this axe can strike about 480 times from full condition before breaking, which is really weird. It's 20 hits less than the standard axe. And another weird thing about this is it actually costs less than its, uh, its non-unique counterpart. The regular axe can sell for 60, and the dismemberer sells for 55, which is just kind of funny. Now the only difference is, uh, other than that unique effect and the cost, of the dismember and the axe is the axe does 5 extra damage and does 10 extra critical hit damage allowing for the DPS to be increased by a little bit. Uh, there's nothing too great about this weapon in my opinion besides that unique effect but like I said pretty much everybody chooses the bloody mess perk for that DPS percentage increase and yeah there's actually one funny thing if you're playing Mothership Zeta and you use this to blow an enemy's body up into gibbs their body will actually have red blood on it whereas normally it does not. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.